Lord. Chapter 1 of the book of Genesis. In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. Beginning, John 1, 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. You get that? In the beginning was the Word. See capital W? And the Word was with God. Capital W? And the Word was God. Anybody who doesn't believe that Christ is God hasn't studied, hasn't read this book, and possibly doesn't even believe it. Hebrews 1.10 And thou, Lord, in the beginning has laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the works of thy hands. Psalm 100 it says, Of all this love, the foundation of the earth, and the earth and the work of their hands, they shall perish. But thou shalt endure, yea, all of them shall wax so like a garment, as a vesture. Shall thou change them, and they shall be changed. Isn't that glorious? Hmm. But thou art the same. In the years have no end. I just love it. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. People may ask me, and I ask myself, but when was this beginning? It's not given to me to or to you to know this. We know it's given in the beginning. <laughs> Because the Lord, uh, I understand, wants us to understand that in the beginning there is Him, nothing else. And He's the one who created the heaven and the earth. The heaven and the earth. Two realms. We learn with the Apostle Paul, rightly dividing the word of truth, that there's been sin and transgression and rebellion in heaven and in earth. And so the Lord in His wisdom, power and glory has two programs to regain total control of these two realms because He is, He was, He is and always will be the most high God, possessor of heaven and earth. In heaven, there's been the rebellion of Lucifer and his fallen ones, fallen angels. On earth, there's been the transgression, the sin of Adam and Eve, mankind. Turned their back, they disobeyed, they sinned. A word that people don't like, but sin means transgression, missing the mark. Going against the will of God. God says, go this way, you go the other way, because you think you know better. So, sin is also a form of, ah, I don't need God, I'm independent, I do my own thing. Well, really, let's see. <laughs> In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Created Job 38, verse 4. God is asking Job, where was thou, Job, when I laid the foundations of the earth? Declare, if thou hast understanding. Lay the foundations. Isaiah 44:24. 24. Thus says the Lord, thy Redeemer, and that he formed thee from the womb. I am the Lord that makes all things. I love this. I am the Lord that makes all things. That stretch forth the heavens alone. That spreads abroad the earth by himself. How can you, how can you spread the ball? It's like a pizza dough, you know? Makes all things. <laughs> oh, it's so connected. It's so amazing, this book, you know? It's so amazing. Go back to Genesis 1.1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. 
created within Job, Isaiah, Romans 120. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that made even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Those people, they don't believe and they want to say, it was the Big Bang. <laughs> it was not Big Bang. Colossians 1.16 for by him were all things created that are in heaven and are in earth, visible, invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and for him, and is before all things, and by him all things consist. You know what happens with this book? You start, you start to study, and the more you study, the more you see the the greatness, the power of God is absolutely stunning, you know. Let's go back here. Uh, Colossians 11, Hebrews 11, 3. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. So the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear was were framed. I like I'm a painter, but you know, a bit better than Leonardo. <laughs> I frame my canvas. If they are a bow, if my canvas is a bow, how in the world are I going to frame it? <laughs> I, I think I'm a bit crazy. Anyway, the world is as it is written here. It is a flat surface on pillars, on foundations, and God spread it, you know. <laughs> Through faith, so yeah, let's go back here. And Revelation 4 11. Let's see if I find out what happened. Mm -hmm. I think I lost it. Revelation 4, 11. Oh, yeah. Thou art worthy, O Lord. Okay, you know, Revelation is not written to us. I'm reading lots of scriptures from the prophetic and some from the mystery program. The two programs where God, we see that we, uh, now the body of Christ, we preach this gospel of grace we, so that we fulfill a ministry of reconciliation to call people to become members of the body of Christ, getting saved and sealed by grace. And the Lord will restore Israel, so he will gain again the possession of heaven and earth because he's the rightful owner. Satan thinks he is, but he is not. Thou word, O Lord, the book of Revelation is not written to us, it's written to Israel in the future. Notwithstanding, all scripture is inspired. And whatever is written a fourth time in the prophetic, Paul says, is for our learning. Our doctrine comes from the letters of Paul. Thou word, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For Thou created all things, and for Thy pleasure they are and were created. I love it, I love it, I love it. Colossians 1 16. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and here in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things, and by him all things consist. And he is the head of the body, the church. So the church is not a building, not a denomination is an assembly of saved and serious members, people, men, women. And he is the head of the body. Christ is the head of the body. The church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, they know things he might have the preeminence. 
for he pleased the Father that in him should do fullness to us. You see what happens? It's so glorious, I can't stop. <laughs> and the earth was without form and void. We are in the book of Genesis in chapter 1, verse 1, verse 2. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Without form, in Jeremiah 4.23. And I built the mountains, and I built the earth, sorry. And lo, it was without form and void. And the heavens, and they had no light, you see. Without form, Genesis 1.2. I beheld the mountains, and lo, they trembled, and all the hills moved lightly. I beheld, and lo, there was no man, and all birds of the heaven were fled. Oh, praise be to God. And God said, all right, what happened here? You see, in the beginning, God, God is a spirit, okay? God, the spirit, created the heaven and the earth. But then we see the spirit of God. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. You see? So God the Father, God the Holy Ghost, and now we have God the Word. That's the Lord Jesus Christ. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. Isn't the Lord amazing? That's speaking, that's Christ. He is the Word. He speaks the Word, the creative Word. Take seriously these words, my friend. God took great care to preserve this book so that we will have it. Don't go with corrupt Bibles, NIV, ESV, New King James Bible. Stay with the faithful, preserved, infallible, inspired King James. I love you, brothers. And says, I love you in the Lord. And you know the love of the truth. Speaking the truth in love. The love of Christ constrains us. Because he will have all men to be saved. And to come to the knowledge of the truth. And God said. Let there be light. And there was light. Psalm 20. Psalm 30. Okay. <laughs> that 74 verse 16. Was it? Uh, 74, 16. The day is thine, the night also is thine. Thou hast prepared the light and the sun, prepared in you know, Genesis. The sun appears on the fourth day, but the earth is created on the first day. Isn't that glorious? Absolutely glorious. Praise be to God. These are the first three verses of the book of Genesis. We stop for now, and I wish you a great day. Amen.